Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the notation editor or the musical notation editor in Reaper. I have a track in front of us here with some piano chords, a piano melody, a flute melody, and then a trumpet. Now, before we get started, there's a preference I want to show you for the workflow that I prefer. Down over here under MIDI editor, I'm going to switch this from its default with one MIDI editor per item to one MIDI editor per project. So the entire project is going to have one editor. I just prefer this workflow. So all these items are MIDI. So if I double click one of them, it opens up to the MIDI editor and it defaults to the piano roll, which is this right here. Go to our melody or our flute or our trumpet. And right from here, we could edit them. But now we could also edit them using notation. Let's go back to our piano melody. And if we right click up here, under view, we can choose musical notation. We could also use a keystroke. On the PC, it's Alt 4. And on the Mac, it's Option 4. So you can switch it right from here or use the keystroke. So this is our piano melody. And now you can see it as notes. Let's zoom in a bit. And if you could read music, we could watch it play along and adjust and edit it right from this window. Now if you want to change the notes, just simply grab them and move them to a different spot. This is an E but I can move it up to an F or a G or an A. And this is where it helps if you can read music. We can change all of them together, select them all and just move them. And down over here, we could adjust our key. Now this song is in C major. So you could choose key, choose C and major. And now if we move our notes, they're always going to be in key. So our E will move up to an F or a G, but I can't move to an F sharp. because it always stays in key if we choose this option. Although we can turn it off, and there's our F sharp. But this locks it in to stay in key. We can change the length of our notes. See right here, the yellow line? We could adjust it, making it longer or shorter to be a 16th note. Let's make them all 16th notes by making them shorter. So now we have a 16th note and a 16th note rest. So the notes are shorter. Or we could extend it to be an eighth note or longer. We could duplicate it to create chords. So this is an E. I could either add a note by clicking up here and dragging it, or I could duplicate it by holding the control on the PC or command on the Mac and just drag it and it creates an extra note. Let's make a chord. So I'll make it a G and a C. Make these longer. This one too. Let's undo that. And we could delete notes by double clicking them. And they're gone. Pretty much the same editing as the piano roll. But now we could do it based on notation. 
Now, if we want to record MIDI and see the notes as they're coming in, we could do that as well. Let's delete this. And let's record directly into the editor. And just like that, we have a part as music notation. And we can put another part on top of it. And we see those notes added right to the notation. Let's check out the flute. Double click over here. Here's our flute part. And again, we can change these notes. Instead of an A, let's bring it up to a C. And we can jump around right to our trumpet. And if you want to see all of it together, just select them all. And just like this, we can see the entire song. Can make this note longer just by clicking on it and extending it. Or shorter by shortening it. So we can see all the parts matching up against each other in one window. Another trick we could do, if we select a few different notes, like these two, we could use our trim tool on both sides, the double-sided one, to shorten this and lengthen this. We could bring it over here, change the melody, Now, if we right click our notes, we have a bunch of different options. We can make this note an accidental. So instead of being an A, it could be a B flat flat or G sharp sharp. We could put it back to the A. We could change the beam on the notes. Let's go back to a melody. These are beams. We don't want to see them. Select them all, right click it, and choose do not beam notes, and the notes are all separate. So if that's easier for you to see, you could turn off those beams or put them back on for certain notes. So if you want it to look a certain way, like these two beam together, you could do that. And these two. And maybe these four. So if you prefer that look, we can do that. We could tie notes together, create tuplets, slur phrases. We could change our staff from the default, which is the top, or the bottom. So it looks like this. We could change the octave. The articulation, make an accent like that, or staccato like that, create grace notes or trills. We could change the note head, make them look a bit different. And if we're working with chords, these are chords right here.
you want to name those chords in the notation, just select them, right click, go to chord notation, and it does the work for us. A minor shows up here. This should be a G right here. And it shows up, making it easy to see the chords. So this makes it a lot quicker to edit on MIDI if you know how to read music. If you know right away, then this flute part, you want to change some notes, change the rhythm, add a harmony, make this a bit higher or lower. Makes it a lot easier to change our melody. And we could do it right from this window. So that's pretty much it. That's the basics of the notation editor in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.